It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You digging, you worthy. You feeling like door. Smash that like button, like hook. Yeah. Welcome back everybody, we're here once again, if you're new to the channel, or if you're not, this is the best podcast in the multiverse, smash that like button, like hope, please subscribe, join the team, um, shout out to everybody that's been following us lately, and you know, been leaving comments and stuff, I've been definitely feeling the channel grow a little, and any little bit of progression is, feels amazing to me, seeing well from how far we came, it. yes, well appreciated, so shout out to all y'all, thank you. Um, all right, you've seen the title, you know why you're here. Mm -hmm. That means you are interested in Loki season two. I was a big fan of Loki um, season one. I thought it was actually the best. I still think it's the best Marvel um, Disney Plus show. Um, even though on the rewatch, WandaVision gave it a run for his money, I feel like they really did WandaVision really good. And it was nine episodes. But Loki still holds the top spot for me. Like, overall, it's just, like, flawless to me. Um... I seen this uh, trailer already. Um, we both have, but nonetheless, watch it with us. Drop a comment, see our reactions. Um, yeah, so let's dive right into it. situation we wanted to run by you. Mobius! Wow! Great to see you again! That! That's what's been happening! Wow! Time slipping! Wait, Tony, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible time slipping the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I've been pulled through time. The past and the present. If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Only one way to find out. A little good old fashioned leg work. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate, cerebral approach. It's really good why. saying I'm happy to see Kane back, John mm. Majors, you know, with everything that was going on with him. It was seeming like they was going to have to recast him, but it seems like he, they said he has some good evidence, people that's willing to testify, being one, the cab driver that was the one that was there in the altercation, you know, and um, so yeah, we just got to see what's the final verdict. Anything can still change, that'll mean he's for sure back. But if they're willing to drop the trailer and have him in it, because mm -hmm. they was trying to avoid everything with him in it, right? Like the, um, if you go on Disney Plus and y'all see the, you know, the show, um, Marvel Assembles, basically when they show all the behind the scenes from each movie or show, they held off on it and they said it, um, it's on hold indefinitely, meaning until whenever they want or ever, right? But then they dropped it. 
So for them dropping it, that's, that's it says a lot. And then the them dropping the trailer says even more. So I'm happy about that. You know, I already do it like Jonathan Majors. You know, hopefully everything turns out good. To move on from that, um, it seems like a lot of action. And which you the know show how I love me some and the show did not lack that in the first season. So that's great. You know, because a lot of times the second seasons they'll be better than the first seasons, and mm-hmm. that was shows period. So this seems like they upping it up more, and then the time slipping that seems crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that it reminds me of um, Spider Verse. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was cool. Um, I see they brought back a lot of the same characters from it. Um, a little Easter egg they showed too was the when Loki first slipped, the time slipped, and he arrived outside. It was Sujeski's in front. And if you remember, that was his biggest dream, Mobius. Mm-hmm. He wanted to ride jet skis. He didn't know why he had an infatuation with him. So maybe the very end they took him from, just to ride jet skis, right? Mm-hmm. That was the theory before, so hopefully we get to see him ride a jet ski. I, I think so. Yeah, right? That would be a good payoff for mm-hmm. him. Um, anything else that caught your eye from the trailer? Um, I liked how they, they only showed the girl one time. They showed her really quick. Because um, she was the, the big deal. No. The oh. one they were fighting last. The pretty brown skin one, like light like skin caramel. The big lady? The lady that was working for, for King. Oh, the petite lady. Oh, yeah. yeah. So apparently I heard. Um, I forgot her name. Yeah, me too. Um, But I liked how they only showed her once because it gives that little kind of mysterious because you know she was the one that they were yeah, fighting off she was she the was biggest let down the, yeah. whatever it was she didn't know what the lie was and it's, then when she found out it didn't make her turn away she wanted to know more, more answers exactly yeah. so i was like no this is for a reason so i like that they i had read last year ones. or two years ago when the show came out um so apparently in the comics she's king's girlfriend mm. so it would be cool if that's what they're leading to and she's trying to find him. him, but not knowing who's him, because she never seen him. Mm-hmm. And then when she does, it gets all her answers, but it also doesn't turn her away, obviously. And yeah. she just dro- dro- she stands on it. Yeah, she stands on stands it. And grows attracted to him, mm-hmm. and maybe they become a couple, right? That would be cool to see. Um, the variant we see right there in the screenshot with um, you know, with the hair, old school hair, with the glasses and stuff of Jonathan Majors, King. That's um Victor Timely, and apparently he's Kank. He's, what I mean by that is that he's, you know, because Kang got so many different versions of mm-hmm. Kang as we've seen in post credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, I mean, um, Quantumania. That's the Kang that was in Quantumania. He's the main king, which is King the Conqueror, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. So he's just, he, you know, he deals with time travel and everything. So apparently he's probably hiding, that's what I'm getting from this, he's hiding in earlier time periods, so no one will find him, there's no Avengers around or anything. And he thinking everything is sweet, but Loki's aware of him, so Loki probably will find him. Obviously, in one of those post credit scenes, Loki was sitting in the audience of him doing that show. Yeah. So that's just a little backdrop on who that version is of him at the time. But he's like a big deal with one of King's personas. I like how it's a lot of. Well, obviously, they're just showing us what they want to show us, but from what it looks like, it looks like. It's a lot of separate things going on between Loki and Sylvie. Yeah, because like, they went their know, own ways. Like, exactly. Like, it looks like each them, each of their own going through their own problems. And it looks interesting. Because it now it's like two stories. Because they both took on the job. Right. They, you know. And so, they're both Loki. And that's the name exactly, of the show. So it's like, exactly. you know, we, we call her Sylvie. Like, that's her regular name. Mm-hmm. But she is Loki. Loki. Right. So definitely, I can't wait to see... Even the, the the first interaction between him when he sees her again, because his heart was broken. I feel bad for him. Me too. You're not supposed to ever feel bad for Loki. That's the thing, right? But he grew so much on us throughout these years and the different roles that he ended up becoming like kind of a good guy, right? And enough that we didn't view him as villain. So to see how much character development he has from Thor one all the way to now, you know, it was one of the biggest developments. I feel like you mm-hmm. feel me and. I really felt for him though when he was like he genuinely grew feelings for her for Sylvie and she wasn't on that and she did was on his time with that right like she did like him back but, but her life and what she her mission 
was bigger than everything, so she was wasn't she thought he was trying to swindle her. Because mm-hmm. the that's the low key yeah. like, So the look on his face was really heartbreaking. Like he's like, yo, like fuck it, kill me then, right? He even backed down. Like, so I definitely can't wait to see them so together. Um, the Asian guy that they showed, um, he's like, yes, yes, no. Um, he's actually a big actor. He's in a lot of different movies. He was in the Everywhere, Everything. I was wondering. I was like, he looked familiar, but I can't. Yeah. I there's nothing that I could like put him to. But I always feel like he looked like Jackie Chan. He kind of <laughs> does like his little brother or something, or older brother. Well, um, he seems like an interesting character. Like he's gonna. Mm-hmm. And I read. I heard also that he's like a tinkerer for the TVA. So he's he created a lot of the technology that the TVA uses. Like yeah, King uses technology and perfected it and stuff like that. But you know, King. His bag is that he obtains different technology from different times. He's mm-hmm. not really the one that's like creating Making it. Yeah. yeah. So that got, that's why it looked like he was at a workshop or something. So it would be cool to see what the inventions he made and you know, how they work. Um, anything else you want to add to this before we close this one out? Um, no, I'm just very much excited. Yeah. I'm beyond excited to see this because this was one of my top three favorites of the. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your top three now that you say it like that? So I would say, what if Loki and WandaVision? In that order? No. Oh, in Just top three. Really? Yeah. I think um, they know by now. If they've been keeping up and seeing all the episodes you've been in. WandaVision, okay. Loki, and then what if? Because okay. what if it's like a general, yeah, it's a yeah. different thing. So it's like kind of hard, but yeah. I wonder when we're going to get season two, because we were supposed to get it the following year after... It first came out, and then following year after that, and then now this year is going by, and they have no plans on releasing it. So yeah, so are they gonna release it next year? They didn't mention that either. So how long are we gonna wait for what if? Because right. like you said, that it has nothing to do with the MCU grand scheme storyline and nothing. So because it's all it's, separate. Yeah, it's all it's separate. Like, it's what just, if yeah, scenarios? so why can't we just get that? That's like really fun to watch, you know. But it's, I guess it also gives them ideas, like, so when the movies are done and out, they give... Yeah, they have new ideas, yeah. Yeah, you know, to kind of use, I guess. Yeah. Well, I hope it's very soon. Yeah, me too. Alright, so let us know in the comment section what you thought of this trailer for Loki Season 2. Uh, did it meet your expectations? Are you more excited for it? Did it get you least excited for it? Just let us know, right? Um, we are the Assemblers. I'm Sluggy. Tiny. Smash that like button, like hope. Please subscribe. Thank you to all the new subscribers that got mentioned. And until next time, assemble time. It's about that time. Assemble and talk. No, no cap. It's a civil war. You thinking you worthy? You feeling like door? Smash that like button, like hope. Yeah.